What's going on, everyone? My name is Burke, Coach Nogan Patrick, bringing you the finals team builder against Cornet and the Dust Army. So first thing I want to say is we are in the finals, and I'm just I'm so happy about that. The season has gone great. We you know we finished the season really well, uh, much better than previous seasons. And unlike last season, where I kind of got into the playoffs just by the skin of my teeth, I got in really well, and I've gone to the finals. So season's going great, and hopefully we can win this. But we're playing Cornet and the Dust Army, and last time we did play him. We did win, uh, but his team is really scary against mine because mine's frail offensive, and his has a lot of scary setup, and I my team doesn't deal well with setup. But he's got Raikou, Breloom, Umbreon, Fortress, Drapion, Quagsire, Braviary, Azumarill, Reuniclus, Durant, and the Mega Charizard X. So, biggest threats on the team, Mega Charizard X. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not actually a fan of Mega Charizard X in format, but against a team that's weak to set up, like my team, it's scary. AF. So, uh, I, I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like Charizard X. I don't. Um, Azumarill, if it sets up a belly drum, if Blastoise is not around, it runs, it just, I, I lose, basically. Um... Uh, Raikou is not that big of a threat. Berloom, it's annoying. It's really annoying. And Reuniclus, if it starts calm mining up, that, that's going to be a problem. So, with that being said, uh, I got to make sure that he can't set up, and that's the first mod on my team. Shell Shock the Blastoise with Leftovers, Scald Rapid Spin Haze Encounter, mostly defensive, 240, 224 HP, 252 in defense with 32 in speed. Uh, that 32 in speed allows me to outspeed a max speed adamant Azumarill. I do not think he'd run Jolly. That's a lot less scary for my team if he runs Jolly. So I, I'm expecting him to run adamant, and that 32 speed allows me to outspeed it. And pretty much this is the same set as last time. Uh, Scald Rapid Spin Haze. Last time I had Dragon Pulse, but now I have Counter, and... I'm kind of... I feel... Like, the Dragon Pulse was there to stop him from setting up subs. And without the Dragon Pulse, he can set up subs on this, but Haze go th goes through subs, so I'm not worried about him like setting up behind a sub and just trying to get a plus six, plus six. I can Haze it, prevent him from setting up. That being said, uh, I still don't like him setting up subs on me, but unfortunately it's, it's a Mega Charizard X. It's probably gonna do what it wants to. Um, and I was thinking about changing the counter to Toxic, so like on a switch in, you know, he would switch in like a Quagsire on this, maybe the Reuniclus, you know, probably Berloom or Raikou, and I can Toxic them on the switch in, meaning they are a lot less running, uh, unless it's, you know, a Magic Guard Reuniclus. I know it gets Magic Guard. Uh, so if it has Magic Guard and I Toxic it, obviously it's not going to do anything, but Toxic I think gives me a little bit more utility, but counter allows me to be able to take out things like Durant, Charizard X, uh, per loom because I can take it like a seed bomb. I don't think I can take a bolt seed. Uh, technician bolt seed. I cannot take that. But like Drapion, he has physical threats. I can take a hit, counter, kill it. But I'm not too confident in my ability to use counter, so I'm probably going to change it to toxic. Don't be surprised if you see toxic by the time the battle comes around. But that's Blastoise. It is my. It's my. Stop the setup. Uh, mostly the Azumarill. Mostly the Azumarill. I can haze the Charizard X, but that's not that's not what this is meant for. This is meant to haze the Azumarill and the Reuniclus like 90-95% of the time. Uh, maybe if Drapion is like that sub acupressure set, I can, you know, haze that too. The Charizard X, I have another way to deal with it, so this is mostly for the Azumarill because Belly Drum, Azumarill, I, this is the only thing that can take an Aqua Jet. I cannot kill it in one hit uh, after taking the Aqua Jet. Uh, but I can set it back to neutral uh, if he's belly drum, and then we don't have a problem. Because some other things on my team can take an aqua jet, not a plus six. Uh, the things that can take it out immediately, like thunderous, I can immediately kill it. However, I can't take a plus six aqua jet, so I, I need Blastoise to be able to reset that counter. And last time I didn't need it because he switched in his Azu on a knockoff, but I don't think that's going to happen this time. And I think he's going to bring Azu. He's brought Azumarill 10 almost every single game, Charizard X almost every single game, and Raikou almost every single game. So I'm expecting those three to come anyway. So that is Blastoise, uh, Shellshock the Blastoise. Now, to complement that in the wall core, and this is what I'm going to be using to basically stop the Charizard X from 
even if it wants to set up, even if it wants to set up, I, I can at the very least, at the very least, I can stop it from just kind of running through my team, and I might have to hack something off, but at the same time, you know, I can at least stop it. And that is Mega Kelly the Mega Audino with Wish Protect, Thunder Wave, and Dazzling Gleam. Last time, last time I had Encore, but this will allow me to Thunder Wave the Charizard X, Thunder Wave, I don't know, the Reuniclus, because why not? You know, I might as well have Thunder Wave for Reuniclus. It, it's not going to do anything. Uh, not, not that it's not going to do anything, but at the very least, you know, other stages aren't going to do anything, so you might as well pop, you know, paralyze it. You know, there's, there's a lot of things on this team that can get paralyzed, and Paralysis is just the best, you know, Thunder Wave is the best move in the game. You throw the Yell Magic around, paralyze some things, get those, and I'm not saying that I would be, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't want the full pairs because those are always nice. But the Thunder Wave, I just need to slow down Charizard X because then, even if it gets like the plus six, plus six, yeah, it's going to take out something, but then I can switch in something like Crocodile, outspeed and kill it. I can switch in something like Crocodile and outspeed and kill it. Like, I literally, I'm just switching Crocodile to outspeed and kill it. And if he doesn't get the plus six, plus six, then I can just reset it with Blastoise. So, there's that, and it'd be paralyzed and whatnot. So, basically, bring in Crocodile and kill it is the plan. <laughs> Break its spine. Make sure it, it is paralyzed from the neck down, and then bring in Crocodile, and Cro Crocodile is just going to shake the ground and kill it. That's the plan. Uh, or I, I reset its stats, let Blastoise uh, go down if it's already played its job in terms of stopping the setup of everything else, and then just bring in Crocodile and, again, shake the earth to kill the Charizard X, because that Charizard X is it's just a problem. Man, it's just a problem, and I hate it so much. So that is that is Mega Kelly the Mega Audino, and the last thing that is a wall and my rocker is Megatron the Metagross. This is another time I'm bringing it, bringing it defensively. I've been bringing it uh, more of a defensive set. This is the third week I've done it, I think. Second week, third week, and I really like it. I really like it because you know Steel Psychic type offers a lot in terms of defensive utility, and this set was very very specific. I made sure the IVs were just as is. So it's a safety goggle set, so Berloom, if it comes, safety goggles. Berloom can't really do too much to this. You know, uh, Bullet Seed's not doing much. Uh, mock Punch isn't doing much. Your Focus Punch is gonna do a lot, but you know, it's a Focus Punch, and you know, if he, I don't think he'll be able to pull it off if he's not buying a sub, because I can't break his subs, and he probably won't want to stay in. And then Rock Tomb does almost nothing, I don't really care about my speed, although I do have speed EVs, and there's a reason for that. So, Stealth Rock, Hidden Power Fire, Earthquake, and Toxic. Not bringing, not bringing Priority, and not bringing Stab. And the reason for that is the Priority doesn't really do anything this week. Like, he has no, no Steel Weaknesses, no Steel Weaknesses. Like, they're, they're, he just does, he's got a lot of resistance to Charizard X, uh, Durant, which is not really resistance because of how frail it is, and like Raikou, and Fortress, and it's not going to do anything to Umbreon anyway. So I'm like, okay, well, that, that's just, no. And then Psychic, okay, well, he's got Umbreon, and Fortress, and Drapion, and, you know, Reuniclus, and Durant. So I'm like, well, I can't even, you know, the stabs aren't good. But then again, like, just having this. It deals with the Berloom really well, the Braviary really well, I can take hits from the Azumarill, I can take hits from the Reuniclus, I can take hits from the Durant, and take out the Durant, and I can't take out the Reuniclus, but at the very least, at the very least, uh, I can take out uh, Fortress, which is the main goal of this, is to be able to set up rocks and 1v1 the spinner. It is the same thing uh, during the last, last playoff match, where I had... Metagross be my stealth rocker, and it was specifically tailored to take down the Hitmon top, which was a spinner. Because rocks are very important. Rocks are just very, very important. Berloom Sash, Fortress is sturdy, uh, Charizard X, Ch Charizard X is Charizard X, you know, just let it deal 25% damage to itself after Mega Evolving and 50% before. So, yeah, I will definitely take that. And, you know, just chip damage, because. He, chip damage is nice. Chip damage is very nice. I like chip damage. And rocks are rocks. Rocks are amazing. So, you know, why wouldn't I bring rocks? And Hidden Power Fire and Earthquake. The, the Earthquake, I can... If it's, like, another, like... 
if it's like another I gotta stop saying like so much. If it's another Calm Mind Raikou, I can stop it from stepping up and two go with Earthquake very easily. If it's a choice spec set, I can take a choice spec Shadow Ball. Deal massive damage with the Earthquake and then revenge it. So there, there's reasons for that. And then the Toxic, I, it's Toxic. There's a reason why I'm bringing Toxic. He has one Heal Beller and I, I, just, I just want to Toxic the world, man. Just Toxic the world, man. And the EV spread is very particular. Two max HP, 80 in defense with a relaxed nature because that allows me to take uh, two knockoffs from Drapion if it's max attack. It allows me to take on the Braviary just fine. Yeah, so on and so forth. It allows me to take the Berloom just fine. The 132 in special defense allows me to not be two code by a non life orb, you know, just timid Raikou because I'm expecting, like, if it's a calm mindset, I should be able to take two, un, you know, max special attack Shadow Balls from it. So, good. And stuff. And then the 44 in speed with a speed lowering nature. That 44 in speed ensures that I will outspeed a non-invested uh, Umbreon. The reason for that is I want to be able to toxic it. Because toxing it in that thing is fantastic. I know it gets heal belt, but if it doesn't have heal belt, then it's toxic for good, and that makes me very, very happy. So that is Metagross the Megatron. Metagross the Megatron. Megatron the Metagross, other way around. And then the last three things are my offense, and I'm bringing really hard hitting offense because I need to be able to break through his team because it's bulky, really bulky. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of dumb. I'm bringing, like, a whole bunch of physical offense. And, you know, he's got much better physical offense and special... Much better physical defense and special defense, but, you know, whatever. Uh, that's mostly because he's a fortress. And a Durant. But Durant's, Durant's fragile as hell. Like, if you're relying on Durant for your defenses, I mean, come on. Like, Ember kills Durant from, like, an uninvested Infernape. So, you know, whatever. First thing I'm bringing, though, uh, of course, uh, you know, I've got to bring Thunderous. Shockwave the Thunderous, Volt Switch Grass, not Dark Pulse, and Hidden Power Ground, max, oh, near max speed, uh, max special attack, and Volt Switch for initiative, and the only thing that's stopping that is the Quagsire, and that's why I've got Grass Knot, because that does 160% minimum to a physically defensive Quagsire. Dark Pulse to hit the Reuniclus, which does two co Reuniclus if it is not invested in special defense. And if I go for Dark Pulse and then he sets up Calm Mind, I still two hit KO it. So that's very important. And that's why I'm bringing Life Orb over Expert Belt. I was thinking about bringing Expert Belt and spluffing the Scarf, but I was like, I need the raw power that Life Orb gives. And the Hidden Power Ground is so I can touch the Charizard X. Because uh, that is a two co on a decently HP'd. Charizard X, not a fully specially defensive one, but it does a lot of damage. And this is pretty much all I need, you know, uh, to hit most of his stuff for really hard. It Hidden Power Ground also too goes to Raikou. It deals, you know, damage to the Drapion. And then I just Volt Switch all over the place. His switch into this is is the Umbreon. You know, that, that's obvious. I, I can't do anything really to, to a specially defensive Umbreon. But I have full switch, I get out, get on out of there, and I go into my just heavy, heavy, heavy physically offensive hitter, and that is Quinfernate the Infernape Choice Banded. Choice Banded with close combat mock punch EQ and U turn. I'm not bringing fi uh, Fire Stab, even though my opponent has a fortress. Um, so you're probably thinking, what are you doing? Why would you not bring Fire Stab? against an opponent who has Fortress. Well, close combat to a fully physically defensive Fortress, which he might bring fully physically defensive. I don't I don't know if that really works because, you know, Infernape. But close combat does 44% to a Fortress. So he can't really switch into close combat that easily. It's going to do a lot of damage. And this just blows back the Umbreon. I mean... Close combat choice bandit, which this it's so impressive how bulky Umbreon is. It's not even a guaranteed Oko with close combat, but it is a pretty much guaranteed Oko after Stealth Rocks. So there's that, and I plan on having Stealth Rocks up. So any bit of chip damage and that Umbreon dies, 
Mach Punch for priority because Mach Punch to a Charizard X, if it's not invested, does around like 35%. So if I keep it worn down and then I just need to bring in something to just kind of finish it off, that's what I got. Uh, Infernape for Earthquake uh, to hit the Charizard X if it's not, you know, it's not set up. As well as like Drapion and Raikou. So I was like, well, I should be able to at least be able to hit Charizard X. Oko Charizard X if it's in, and I'm able to like pivot into it without it having set up yet. There's the Earthquake. And then U-Turn for initiative, because I want to be able to get a lot of initiative this game. Uh, so I've got U-Turn on Quinfernape and Volswitch on Shockwave, and that's going to allow me to get a little bit of initiative going. So I can keep him on his heels and not just try to have to make these really good reads. And so I didn't really have room for the Flare Blitz. It just it didn't really do much either because he's got plenty of switch-ins. Azumarill, Charizard X, you know, Quagsire. Yeah, he's got switch-ins of Flare Blitz, so it's not really... But he doesn't really have good switch-ins to close combat, uh, aside from Azumarill and uh, Reuniclus. Right. And Reuniclus, if it's not, if it's an offensive set, still takes a massive damage from close combat. Azumarill, if it's an offensive set, which is probably... Let's be real, probably going to be an offensive set. Still, close combat does really good damage to it. So, Infernape, just I come in, I need a U turn or a close combat. That's pretty much it, or I pick something off with a mock punch, if need be. And the, you know, EV spread 192 uh, allows me to outspeed max speed uh, base 100s, you know, Charizard X. And then max rest and attack and HP, just so I can take a hit a little bit better. But that is Quinfernape the Infernape. And I'm sure he's going to do a lot of work, because Infernape always does work. And I love Infernape. I love Choice Bandit Infernape. Elo and Choice Bandit Infernape are my favorites. And then the last thing I am bringing is I'm bringing Choice Scarf Crocodile. But knock off Earthquake, Firefang, and Crunch. Intimidate, because Intimidate is so much better than Moxie, and I just do not believe I'd ever be able to get a Moxie sweep, especially against this guy, because he's got a Berloom and a Zoomerol, which both have super effective priority against Crocodile. And d defensive didn't work, because again, he's got a Berloom, he's got an Azumarill, he's got, you know, a lot of things that can easily take care of Crocodile, and while it would be nice against the Charizard X, it's still not a reliable counter, because, you know, it, Charizard X still does, like, I, it... It still, if it's set up, you know, it still does a massive amounts of damage. So, the EV spread, and again, I was, I was kind of debating this because I'm EV to outspeed uh, Braviary, a Choice Scarf Braviary, but then I'm thinking, do I, do I really need to? Do I really need to? And I'm still kind of contemplating, but I'm, I, I should change it to just outspeed base 115, uh, base 115 and Raikou because, to be honest, I, I don't really need I don't really need to outspeed a Braviary because I've really seen switch this Braviary. Like Braviary does like nothing to my team, and he's brought it once. Now that doesn't mean I am you know underestimating it. I have switch ins to it. It can't really do too much damage to my team, even if he brings it. So uh, it, it it would be definitely beneficial for me to just outspeed the Raikou. And so now we take out our handy dandy calculator and we say, how much speed do I need to outspeed it? I need 241. All right, 241. I might keep Jolly uh, because then I could I could run max HP, max attack, or max HP, throw a little bit in defense, so I can take it take a hit better. But I'm gonna run Adamant because Adamant's just Adamant's Adamant. So 241, and I don't even have 241. Throw the rest in HP, and yeah, that's gonna be a much better set. So. I was, I was thinking, like, do I do it, do I not? I kind of want it, nah, mm, because, like, the other only, th only other thing that, you know, he could scarf that would outspeed this would be Choice Scarf Balloon, which doesn't make any sense, and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter if I outspeed that thing, because it would mock punch and kill me, so who cares? Uh, Choice Scarf Umbreon, which that makes, like, less, less than zero sense, and that's it. So... There's no reason. He is Braviary, but again, switch into Braviary. Even this is a switch into Braviary now because I intimidate it, can't do as much damage, and then I can knock off, I can crunch. And the reason I have crunch is because now it's a guaranteed two co on Reuniclus. Like, say I knock it off, and then he switches out, and then he gets back up to full health. I don't. Knock off's not a guaranteed two co at that point. Crunches. And I need to be able to just crunch it twice. 
kill it. Be done with it. Because if he's not Culverberry, then I can, like, say he brings in Reuniclus on Infernape and I U-turn, that does a clean 40% to a fully physically defensive Reuniclus, and if he's not fully physically defensive, then I just switch into Crocodile and then just click Crunch, and uh, that will be the end of, uh, or click Knockoff, and that will be the end of Reuniclus. So, <sighs> this team, this team, hopefully we can win the finals. It, it's going to be a tough match, and it, it's going to be a good match. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and then just one thing I wanted to correct. Let's we can take a little bit out of there. Put the rest in. Eh. Yeah, a little bit of live team building here. Um, and we can hopefully, 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 uh, we can pull out our second championship back to back because that'd be so nice. But even still, I'm so glad I made it to the final. So even if I don't win, then I'm still very happy with uh, how I did this season, how far I've come. And if I do win, then that's going to be awesome. But I'm really looking forward to the battle. But I'm going to stop rambling. That's all I got for today. My name is Burke, Coach New England Patriots. I'll see you all next time.